Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a quick YouTube video tutorial on the multiplayer zombie survival template and how to add Steam names to your character. So instead of using the custom names where you enter in a custom name, it'll use your name from Steam. So to get to the stuff we need, you can come to the marketplace and you can click on the documentation and Discord support link. It'll take you straight to my documentation here and you can scroll down to the uh, table of contents or you could click this little button over here to show the outline either one works and you scroll down until you see the thing that says how to uh, change character uh, where is it how to change player names using steam names here how to use steam names click that it'll jump you to the section you could read all this if you want but if you scroll down here to the bottom I've already done it for you I even say it right here. <laughs> so you just click this little link. It'll open up this blueprint. It's already done for you. It's got this event that I've created. We're just going to copy it by hitting Control C after you highlight everything. Hop over into your project. I've made a new project just for this tutorial. And the folders we're going to browse to uh, browse through are we got HGT, we got Core Blueprints, All Levels, and then Game info instance. So we open up the game info instance here, and right below this event initialize event, there's one called check uh, check for save game. This event called save game check. We're gonna delete it. Delete all the nodes that are inside there. Delete, copy and paste by hitting Control V. Paste in what we just copied from earlier, and then you'll have to right click on this player info variable and hit create variable, and then you can compile save and that should do it now you have to make sure you have steam open if you want to actually see your steam name but that other than that that's it now there's one other thing we're going to do if you notice on the main menu here there's still an option for changing your name so you would just go for the HGT and then go to widgets and then UI and then main menu and then main menu widget then you would click this change name. All you need to come over on the left hand side and click the actual change name button. Scroll down here to where it says visibility. Change the visibility to collapsed. And then compile and save. And that'll hide the button. Or you can, if it's up to you, if you don't want it ever again, you can go in and delete it entirely. If you want to do that, you might have to come over into the actual event graph and find the change name button or wherever the button is and delete the stuff but I'll leave that up to you right now I'm just gonna hide it so if we hit play and we'll do a uh, standalone game save selected and it'll launch this little game here and instead of going to the change name it'll just pop you straight onto the main menu and it'll use your Steam name. So then when you go to a game, multiplayer, or single player, pop in, see it says my name is Whippy Trout up here, and it says Whippy Trout above my players, uh, player character. And that's it. So let me just close this. That's it. Now your character will use Steam names instead of custom names. Alright guys and gals, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and Leave me a good review on my my products on the marketplace. And uh, if you got any cool ideas or anything for new products I should make, leave them below in the uh, comments. And yeah, peace.